Hey guys, this is going to be the update for Mark's 1960s aircraft, the uh, F-5 Tiger in the blue. It's going to be light blue, dark blue, and gray uh, camo. And I'm going to be trying out a new airbrush today. And it's not going to be the Sotar. It's actually the airbrush that was ordered uh, two days before the Sotar. And, uh, it's a cheapo, and we're going to go ahead and hook it up right out of the box, see how it does. And unfortunately, with my thinning skills, if it doesn't work well, I won't really be able to blame it on the airbrush because I'm still, uh, you know, I might be getting to about 60, 40, maybe 60% of the time. It's, it's thin, right? It's working good for me. The other 40, it's, I've done something wrong. Usually it's not nearly thin enough. So and since I've fallen into that way of thought, I think the only reason I'm getting up to around 60% success is because I'm really going crazy with the thinner at times, which might cause me to have to put on an extra coat or two. Uh, and it can increase the likelihood of runs but knock on wood that's uh, hasn't been the case yet not that it's not going to happen but hasn't been the case yet so let's uh, head over to what I call the paint station now we'll call it today the paint state the paint corner uh, hope you guys are doing well let's go check it out Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys. So here it is after making a few more times around the Lazy Susan here. And it would have it would have been a lot faster to cover if I would have just uh, primed it. Maybe I'll pick up a can of that uh, the uh, Tamiya primer. The fine surface stuff, it seems to be the one that uh, folks like. I thought I had had a can of that in the past, but uh, no, because uh, as I recall, that was a gray, which wouldn't have helped a whole bunch on this one because it was a darker gray. So, yeah, right out of the box. I got lucky with the thinning, of course, and I really did because my thinning is still touch and go, very spotty. But uh, this brush does uh, really well, or it did for me anyway. I just wish I could get that trigger control a little, a little more consistent. So I have uh, several. Airbrushes, and have had several others, and I may have several more on the way, for all that you know. And I guess that's because I don't see it any different than the car you drive. If you're not comfortable with it and the car doesn't fit you, well, chances are you wouldn't buy it. And if you were foolish enough to buy it, chances are you wouldn't use it. So, I'll probably keep spending money on airbrushes until I find the one, which is funny because as I go, I'll get better 
with my paint thinning and all that good stuff which is probably the, the problem from not probably it is the problem from the get-go and once I nail that down whatever particular airbrush I happen to be using at that time will be the one that I attribute it to not the fact that I got comfortable with airbrushing not the fact that I learned anything about mixing paints or thinning paints I will attribute it all to a well-made airbrush which $24.99 is spraying pretty damn awesome not that a $400 airbrush isn't going to spray awesome but I bet you somebody that's truly an artist with an airbrush could take a $24.99 airbrush and wow your socks off I'll bet you money so I'm just going to keep trying to learn and you won't be seeing any $400 airbrushes on on my little channel I'm not that crazy but I will spend 59 on a Sotar and $24.99 on a master airbrush and the next one I'm looking at actually has the air adjust valve right at the tip only because I think that's going to be a benefit there you have it right or wrong that's what I'm gonna do you do what you gotta do see ya hey guys while I was cleaning up here I did want to come back and say uh, one thing about that uh, somebody that's truly an artist with an airbrush could wow your socks off and I believe that that's true uh, but unfortunately excuse my hand there uh, chances are they're already sponsored by somebody therefore their answer is going to be whoever their sponsor is that day that will be the best airbrush they ever used otherwise they don't get their freebies they don't get a paycheck but I'm sure there's still artists out there that maybe aren't at that level that could use this and do outstanding things just outstanding all right I think that's enough Windex through the bad boy and if you can see it it's got a pretty interesting uh, cup down in there it's going to be fairly easy to get down in there and really uh, clean it out so I was glad to see that now I'll shut up guys have a good night hope all's going well hope your weekend was a safe one I've seen the news about the storms stay warm do your best to stay warm hopefully you're not out there working in that crap yuck take care of yourselves guys See ya.